Tying a reef knot using your hands is a key skill for any aspiring surgeon. The key benefits of hand knot tying are that on many occasions during an operation, it's ergonomically easier to tie using your hands rather than using an instrument. Also, hand tying allows us to lay a knot more delicately and with more accuracy than when we do an instrument tie. These benefits are particularly the case when we tie knots at depth. Commonly, if you're right hand dominant, then you will use your left hand to tie the knot, and vice versa. However, with practice, you should be able to tie the knot equally well with both hands. But before we carry on, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on any of our new content releases. And make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you can save 20% off Surgical Teaching Premium. We shall start by showing the left hand knot tying first. We start with the short end of the suture lying away from us. We pick it up and hold the end between the thumb and the middle finger of our left hand. We then use the index finger of that hand to extend the suture out. We then bring the suture end in the right hand up and loop it over the extended left index finger. The left index finger then hooks around the short end of the suture and pulls it through the loop that has been created. This requires the short end to be released and then re-grasped as it's passed through the loop. The left hand then pulls the short end of the suture towards us, whilst the long end is taken away from us at 180 degrees. This crossing of the hands is vital, as it allows each of the throws of the reef knot to sit flat and prevents any slippage of the knot. The next throw involves supinating the left hand whilst holding the suture between the left thumb and index finger, with the suture wrapped slightly around the left little finger. The right hand then brings the long end of the suture over the middle fingers of the left hand. The left middle finger then loops around the long end of the suture to hook the short end and pulls it through the loop. The short end of the suture is then taken away from us, again at 180 degrees. Whilst the reef knot only consists of two throws, for added security, we perform at least one more throw. The first position and the actions of the initial throw are repeated to perform the third, and in this case, the final throw. As many additional throws can be added as required by repeating the actions of the first and the second positions. The number of additional throws required is dependent on the type of suture material being used. With a greater number of throws being required when using the more slippy monofilament sutures, as opposed to braided sutures. Let's have a look at the left-handed reef knot being tied again. Now if we look at the tie being performed by the right hand, we start with the short end of the suture lying away from us. We pick this up between the thumb and the middle finger of our right hand. We then use the index finger of the right hand to extend the suture out. The long end of the suture that is in our left hand is brought over the right index finger. The right index finger then hooks around the short end of the suture and pulls it through the loop that has been created. The right hand then pulls the short end of the suture towards us, and the left hand takes the long end of the suture away from us at 180 degrees. For the next throw, we supinate the right hand whilst holding the suture between the right thumb and the right index finger. The left hand then brings the long end of the suture forward and over the middle fingers of the right hand. The right middle finger loops around the long end of the suture to hook the short end and pull it through the loop. The short end is then taken away from us at 180 degrees. We then repeat the actions of the initial throw 
remembering to cross the hands after every throw to ensure that the knot lays flat and locks in place. If you found this video helpful, then make sure you subscribe to our channel for more great free content. Or if you want to make learning for med school and board exams easier, then subscribe to surgicalteaching.com and check out our expert endorsed videos, high yield revision questions, and our supportive online community. Surgical Teaching was designed by doctors to help students learn smarter. And right now, you can enjoy all of our great content for less, with 20% off our annual premium subscriptions when using the code STYouTube20. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon.